Concussions are hard to diagnose for a couple reasons. Number one, you can't see it. Right? If somebody breaks their arm, you can see it. it's deformed, it's got either blood or a, what we call a hematoma, some swelling there, something like that. Um, if they break their leg or their ankle, they can't run, they can't stand, they can't walk, it's very obvious. If you get a concussion, unless you talk to them, unless you ask them, unless you test their memory, you're not going to know about it. And so it makes it very difficult. A lot of teammates will cover for a guy, turn around, you're going the wrong way, right? Because they want their friend to do well, They're, they don't want him. And so that makes it even harder. And then we don't even have a test. We don't even have a reliable test we can do. You can't see it on an image of the brain. You can't see it on a CT. You can't see it on an MRI. There's no blood test that'll tell you do you have it or not. In our clinic, we do fortunately have a test. We have measurements of brain function, a computerized test that will measure your memory, measure your reaction time, measure the speed that you're able to work through problems. And so if you're fortunate enough to have one from before you were injured, you've seen us in the past. We always get one before we return athletes to play or you play for a team that does the whole team, fine. Then we have a test that can help us. It's still not 100%. You might have a concussion, it might not show up on that test. Um, and so, so it's still not 100%. And again, that makes it harder to diagnose.